Poor Charlie Kirk. Poor Charlie Kirk. Has he gotten some sleep? Charlie Kirk apparently has had like a string of really stupid things to say on Twitter. What was he didn't he just like there was something he put out there where it, where he was basically trying to show some math about how how is it possible that Donald Trump won more counties but had less votes. Mm-hmm. And apparently nobody told him that like well counties are not a exact uh, division of the united states population into subsections that's correct Th- that counties are not configured in such a way that everybody would have different voting um that there would be the same amount of voters in each county apparently he just did not understand what counties i think he probably meant like closer like districts like congressional districts maybe County <laughs> districts one in the same when you're a political commentator that doesn't know politics exactly there he is and that uh, there was something else he said about i can't remember what it was about science that people were ragging on him but here he is he's moving on he's charlie what charlie seems to be doing is he is going to hit every possible academic discipline and show that he doesn't have even a rudimentary grasp on any of it. Here he is talking about how history, history's being done wrong in this country, apparently. This is what he had to say on Fox and Friends. The idea of the 1776 Commission is to focus on the founding of our country, that a year after the founding of our country in 1777, Vermont abolished slavery on their own, that it's our country that was founded on freedom and liberty and the pursuit of being a better nation, not this hyperfixation as the left tries to have it on the worst aspects of our history. We're not going to ignore them, by the way, Pete. We understand that America Mm -hmm. has fallen short many times. However, to label America as anything less than the greatest country ever to exist that has always been about self-improvement is a disservice to everyone that has sacrificed for this nation. And quite honestly, how incredible uh, the history of our country has been. Yeah, It's all weird emotion. Like, I mean, don't you grow out of these kinds of bizarre fantasies when you become an adult? Yeah, this is George Washington cherry tree level stuff. Depends who's paying your paying your rent, right? Right. I get it. Well, but I genuinely think there are a significant there that a majority of Republicans genuinely believe that the empirical reality of America being the greatest country on earth cannot be questioned because it is some sort of science as opposed to like, oh, different countries have different strengths and weaknesses. It's like this childish mentality I I can't understand. Well, I mean, to be fair, Charlie Kirk has a problem that you would see in, uh, in Hollywood, which is you're a child star or actor. And then as you grow a little older, you're not as cute anymore. Yeah. And you lose, I mean, this is metaphorically speaking, you get right? Acne, you yeah. get, or your voice changes and you can't play that character and people still want you to have this expectation. And Charlie's, Charlie's aging out of the uh, age where he can pretend like he's speaking to college students. And he knows that he's looking three or four or five years down the road. Or persecuted his, for not being able to speak to college indeed, students. Indeed. And his uh, chief, um, uh you know supporter passed away and i don't know how much you know was left in the will maybe charlie doesn't know who knows uh and so he's trying to pivot and he's just going for the very very low hanging rudimentary sort of propaganda which is history should not be about the bad stuff history should be about the good stuff that's what you need right there just to go to a Wikipedia level of this history, here's the note. This is from the Slavery Abolition Timeline Wiki. The Constitution of Vermont Republic partially banned slavery, freeing men over 21 and women older than 18 at the time of its passage. The ban is not strongly enforced. And I would argue the fact that a state partially uh, banned slavery is probably um, that's because the rest of the states did not <laughs> the yeah the founding of the country because the country did not so there was some inclination in some parts of vermont where you where there was a suggestion that you shouldn't have a slave if they're older than 21 but that shouldn't count because that's a socialist state run by commie bernie eight. sanders bernie right. sanders bernie sanders mm, also he's look, that also- old <laughs> You're 21 in Vermont in 1776. 
it's not like you've got the like a huge amount of time ahead of you. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna right? die that you're I'm, middle aged at that right, point. Like with the average, like the, yeah, you're like the average lifespan at that time was probably like what in the forties, I would say. For working people, yeah, people that aren't landed, I imagine. Yeah. I I mean, oh, just to piggyback onto this, the the, the thing that Charlie's talking about is this uh, commission that Trump has assembled for like patriotic learning as a response to the 1619 project. And I know we just had this big conversation about the failures of meritocracy and things like that. But I don't think the education program of this country should be dictated by a guy who only has a high school education. Just my thought, my two cents on that. What Charlie didn't go Charlie to college? Go to... No, look, no, I, Charlie I, didn't go to college. Yeah, I think I think. Wow, look, I, wow. I for think... someone who's so obsessed with college, yes, Charlie yeah, no, just assumed he, he uh, said in one of his books that he was admitted to he was admitted to West Point, but it was revoked, and a woman of color got his spot instead. I believe. And he, then like Foster, who was, I, I feel like he said that at, he, he said that on the, like his speaking tour, he said that too. Yeah. Well, he also said the guy who died, I forget what his name is, um, but the TPUSA guy who died of COVID uh, over summer convinced him to forego college anywhere and become a pro right wing propagandist. And yeah, definitely that should not, a wow. guy who makes that decision should not be deciding anything. Now I feel like he's panicking. Because he's like, he's lost his sinecure, maybe. And he realizes he's aging out of the, like, I'm one of you college kids. Like, you can, you know, you can get away. Yeah, with it's like, dude, you're 30. To hit like the 30. Yeah. And it's going to be a little bit harder for him to go onto the campus. And then there's going to be all these sort of like, wait a second, how appropriate is it that I'm socializing with It'll them? It'll be like a 21 Jump Street situation, or, he, or he's going he's gonna to look like a, like a cast member from uh, Greece, the movie. Was that, that Steve Buscemi thing you're where he goes up to the kids and he's like, hi, fellow teenagers. That is from 30 Rock, uh, one yeah. of the greatest it, sitcoms ever. And he goes in, and so now he's like a little bit worried about this. Yeah. And he's like, what am, I, what, am, what am I qualified for? I don't know, right? And it's not like he's been doing any reading. Right. Oh, sure. No, no. Reading is reading is beneath him. He would have. He would. He has to post. Or no, no. I see this as a quirky romantic comedy, like Never Been Kissed with Drew, Drew Barrymore, where <laughs> Charlie Kirk uh, finally goes to college and you know passes himself off as a student or maybe not. But the point is, at the <laughs> end, he's finally going to have his first kiss, and I think that's super nice for him. And he becomes a SJW. <laughs> That he's trying to impress. He's trying to impress her, and he becomes an SJW. To, Who kisses like, him though? I, this started That's out as just question. a way to meet, uh, you know, to, to curry favor with her. But now I'm actually like a full fledged feminist. Mm -hmm. I, I would. Aww.